Me, Vampire Lenore again, and I am doing the 100 questions nobody asks tag today. All right, the first question is, do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? I sleep with all the doors closed. It just feels weird when they're not. I don't know. I know I'm not the only person that thinks that way, but yeah. Two, do you take the shampoos and conditioners home from hotels? No, I do not, because I'm really picky about the kind of shampoo and conditioner I use. All right, three, do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? Well, I don't sleep under my sheets, so I keep them tucked in. Four, have you ever stolen a street sign before? No, I don't steal, so no. <laughs> Five, do you like to use post-it notes? No, but I have a white, um, a whiteboard in my kitchen that I use. All right, six, do you cut out coupons but then never use them? Yes, sometimes. <laughs> Seven, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? A swarm of bees because I'm scared of bears and I have been attacked by a swarm of bees before, so at least I kind of understand how it feels, aside from dying from it, you know? All right, eight, do you have freckles? Some, not really though. Nine, do you always smile for pictures? No, but I do sometimes. All right, 10, what is your biggest pet peeve? Um, I don't like it when people don't say thank you. I don't like it when people mistreat their servers, whether it be at a fast food joint, a, a restaurant, whatever the case may be. If somebody's serving you, you're supposed to treat them with respect. And also when people don't tip. <laughs> um, all right, what is my next one? Okay, 11, do you ever count your steps when you walk? No. 12, have you ever peed in the woods? Yes. 13, have you ever pooped in the woods? No. <laughs> that'd be kind of, that'd suck. Uh, I'm sorry if any of you have had to do that. <laughs> I'm sure someday I'll probably have to, but. 14, have, do you ever dance if there's no music playing? Yes. 15, do you chew your pens and pencils? No. 16, how many people have you slept with this week? One. Well, that's awkwardly personal. <laughs> okay. At <laughs> 17, what size is your bed? Uh, I believe it's a queen. Uh, 18, what is this your song of the week? Um, probably Under Your Spell by Desire or Kevin Sky or Kevin Ski's uh, Night Call. I've been obsessed with those two songs for months now, ever since I saw the movie Drive. All right. Uh, 19, is it okay for guys who wear pink? Of course it is. 20, do you still watch cartoons? Yes. 21, what is your least favorite movie? Probably Pumpkin, Freddy Got Fingered, the Austin Powers movies, stuff like that. 22, where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? Probably in my yard. 23, what do you drink with dinner? Probably milk, water, Zevia soda or 100% um, cranberry juice mixed with water. And then the next one is 24. What do you dip your chicken nugget in? Probably like barbecue sauce, maybe. It differs. 25, what is your, oh, buffalo sauce. I just remember that. Okay, buffalo sauce. <laughs> 25, what is your favorite food? Um, I'll tell you my favorite, Style, learn like styles of food, I guess. I like Thai food, Japanese food, Mexican food, Irish food, Spanish food, and Italian food. Because <laughs> I can't choose. I really like curry. I really like Thai curry. Like Thai red curry. It's really delicious. But yeah, I, I have a lot of favorites. And then, 26, what movies could you watch over and over and still love? Well, I probably couldn't watch any movie over and still love it because I get tired of things really easily, but I really like old Tim Burton movies like Edward Scissorhands, Beetlejuice, Night Before Christmas. Um, I really like Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. I like the Addams Family movies. I like uh, Drive. <clears throat> I really like like Aust uh, Jane Austen movies. Um, not all of them, but some of them I really like, like Man Mansfield Park and. Um, What's the other one that I really like? Sense and Sensibility and Pride and Prejudice, stuff like that. The list goes on, but it's hard to just think of 
like that, like all my favorite movies. <laughs> oh yeah, like Trey Parker and Matt uh, Stone movies, or just Trey Parker movies. <laughs> because, you know, some of the movies, Matt Stone just acts in and didn't help out with the directing process, so I don't want to, like, miscredit here. I really like, like, Orgasmo and um, Team America and stuff like that. And let's see, I freaking lost my spot again. <laughs> so many questions. All right, 27, last person you kissed, my boyfriend. 28, were you ever a boy or girl scout? No, but I wanted to be. 29, would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? I have been semi-nude in a magazine before, I'm a model, and uh, as long as like the nudity is classy and artistic, I am fine with being nude. I just don't do pornographic stuff like spread shots or, you know, like things with the intention of arousing people. I, I don't intend to arouse, I intend to create art, so. All right, 30, when was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? About two years ago, I wrote a love letter to my boyfriend. 31, can you change the oil on a car? No. 32, ever gotten a speeding ticket? No. Ever ran out of gas? No. <laughs> 34, favorite kind of sandwich? Probably like a spam sandwich or like my vegetarian sandwiches. I make it with like sriracha, like spicy hummus, um, jalapenos, uh, habanero cheese, um, sprouts, spinach, olives, yellow peppers, <sighs> all kinds of veggies on it. That's on like a garlic sourdough and it's really delicious. And I also like like turkey with bacon and cheddar and cranberry sauce on cinnamon toast. Believe it or not, it's really good. It, they serve it at a, a coffee shop here in town. I don't go there anymore, but all I need to know is what ingredients you use and I can recreate a sandwich. <laughs> uh, best thing to eat for breakfast? Probably like biscuits and gravy or something really healthy like a smoothie made with you know leafy greens and berries and um, soy milk, something like that, or like a salad. 36, what is your usual bedtime? Like 9.30 to 10? 37, are you lazy? I don't even know how to be lazy. I don't know how to relax. Like I constantly have to be doing things so I just don't feel natural. <laughs> 38, when you were a kid, what did you dress up for as Halloween? For, as for Halloween? Um, I never got to go until I was 12 or 13 and I wore my dad's like small bee, uh, beekeeper suit that he had in case he needed one of us to help him or something. And <laughs> the, all the other times I've ever gone have been like years later than that. So I was a teenager and I would generally dress as myself. <laughs> what is your Chinese astrological sign? I'm not really into stuff like that, but if I remember correctly, that's the animals. And I believe I'm a dragon. Yeah, I'm a dragon. And if that's not what it means, I'm a Gemini, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's what it means. All right, 40, how many languages can you speak? Just one fluently, but I can speak some French and Spanish. 41, do you have any magazine subscriptions? No, but I have a lot of magazines because they send them to me when I'm in them or I'll buy them if I'm in them. But there are some magazines that I would have a subscription for if I had like the extra cash to do so. Uh, 42, which are better, Legos or Lincoln Logs? I don't know what a Lincoln Log is, but Legos are pretty awesome and I liked them as a kid a lot. 43, are you stubborn? I think everybody can be at times. I don't really think that I'm particularly stubborn, but I won't deny that I never have my moments. 44, who is better, Leno or Letterman? I don't like either show, but as a person, I think that Jay Leno seems like a really nice person. So I'll go with Jay Leno. All right, 45, ever watch soap operas? No, I have before many, many years ago and it was awful and I got sucked into it for a while with my sisters and I think we were just agonizingly bored and we didn't have very many channels on our TV and we just kind of settled with it and then got sucked in because it always like leaves off at a cliffhanger and then one day we just were just like, why the hell are we watching this crap? <laughs> 46, are you afraid of heights? Yes. 47, do you sing in the car? Mm, sometimes. 48, do you sing in the shower? No. 
49, do you dance in the car? Yes. 50, ever used again? Yes. Um, I went shooting for the first time two weeks ago and I went again a couple of days ago and it's quite a bit of fun going to the shooting range. I enjoyed it. All right, 51, last time you got a portrait taken by a photographer. I can't tell you exactly when, but it hasn't been very long. 52, do you think musicals are cheesy? No, not particularly. I'm pretty um, picky about it, but I will say that Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Nightmare Before Christmas are my favorite musicals of all time. Um, Sweeney Todd's pretty good too. All right, 53, is Christmas stressful? It can be, it was last year. I committed to making three desserts and I had to work the day before Christmas, so I got home from work and then cooked until one o'clock in the morning. And yeah, I'm gonna make sure this year is not stressful for Christmas. <laughs> 54, ever eat a pierogi? I just recently even found out what a pierogi was or even heard of it, and I'm interested in trying one. <laughs> Apparently it's like a potato ravioli, basically. All right, 55. Favorite type of fruit pie? Probably like apple, boysenberry, or lime. 56. Occupations you wanted to be when you were a kid? A cop, a teacher, a model, a fashion designer, a professional soccer player, <laughs> an artist. The list goes on. <laughs> 57. Do you believe in ghosts? No. 58. Ever had a deja vu feeling? Who hasn't? <laughs> uh, 59. Take a vitamin daily? Yes. 60. Wear slippers? No, just because I don't have any. 61. Wear a bathrobe? Yes. 62. What do you wear to bed? I'm skipping that one. 63. First concert? I haven't been to the concert. 64. Walmart, Target, or Kmart? Target. 65. Nike or Adidas? Uh, probably Adidas, but I'm not really into either, so... 66. Cheetos or Fritos? Cheetos. Baked Cheetos. Baked spicy Cheetos. 67. Peanuts or sunflower seeds? Probably, like, peanuts with their shell salted. If they're not shelled and salted, then no. <laughs> Alright, 68. Ever heard of the group Trabian? No, I have not. 69. Ever take dance lessons? No, I have not. 70. Is there a profession you picture your future spouse doing? Uh, probably being an HVAC tech or being a landlord. And I'm not positive that we're going to be spouses someday, but I suspect maybe we will be, possibly. <laughs> um, 71. Can you curl your tongue? Yes. 72. Ever won a spelling bee? I've never been in a spelling bee but I'm pretty good at spelling. Uh, 73, have you ever cried because you were so happy? Yes, I have. 74, own a rec any record albums? Yes, I, I do. My boyfriend was kind enough to give me some. Uh, 75, own a record player? Not yet, but we intend to eventually. 76, regularly burn incense? No, but there was a time that I did uh, I suppose I find myself, like, burning candles more often now. 77. Ever been in love? I am right now. Um, 78. Why would you like... <laughs> why? Who would you like to see in concert? The Cure. <laughs> I'm sure there's other people too, but The Cure... I've just been dying to see The Cure in concert. Especially since everybody's posting videos of them at The Cure concerts. Lucky ducks. All right. What was the last concert I saw? I've never seen a concert, unfortunately. Hot tea or cold tea? Both are good. 81. Tea or coffee? Tea. I'm not a coffee person. 82. Sugar or snickerdoodles? Snickerdoodles, because those have the cinnamon, right? 83. Can you swim well? I was able to swim well. I never get to go swimming anymore, so I can't tell you how I am now, but I was really good when I was younger. Uh, 84, can you hold your breath without holding your nose? Yes, I can. 85, are you patient? Yeah, I'm pretty patient. I'm not like especially patient, like the most patient person in the world or anything, but I'm fairly patient. 86, DJ or band at the wedding? It depends on the DJ or band. 
87, ever won a contest? Yes, I have. 88, ever had plastic surgery? No, I have not. 89, which are better, black or green olives? They're both pretty good. It depends on what I'm using them for, but generally, like if I'm just eating them, just for the hell of eating them, probably the green. 90, can you knit or crochet? I would preferably be able to do both and will be able to do both soon, but cannot right now. 91, best room for a fireplace? The living room. There's actually a fireplace behind this couch. <laughs> uh, 92, do you ever want to get married? Yes, I do. 93, if married, how long have you been married? I'm not married. Uh, 94, who is your high school crush? I prefer not to even say his name or think of him or even acknowledge his existence. 95, do you cry and throw a fit until you get your own way? No, I do not. 96, do you have kids? No. Do I want kids? No. That might change someday. I'm open to it changing if it does, but I doubt it will. 98, what is your favorite color? Probably black. I think that's safe to say, but I also love color in general. I love all colors. Uh, my least favorite colors are yellow and orange, and I still love them even. So if I went colorblind or blind, I'd be very sad that I didn't get to see those colors anymore. I want to appreciate them and not like hate something so wonderful as color. All right, 99, do you miss anyone right now? Yeah, a little bit. I, there's one person I miss a lot in particular, and that's a friend that I, I was good friends with for a very long time. And if you're watching at any point in your life, uh, Micah, the girl, Micah, then I want to tell you that I love you still, and you're a wonderful person, and I hope that you're happy in life. But yeah, she's one person that I really, really miss, and I really love her. She was my best friend for a very long time, and then just kind of disappeared, unfortunately. Uh, and then the bonus question is, something that happened to you in middle school not not formed as a question but well for one i transferred to a public school from my home school and two i met the one of the most horrible people i've ever known in my life in middle school as well those are the two things that stand out about mid middle school i suppose <laughs> but anyways that ends this very very long tag i hope you guys enjoyed it please like comment subscribe and share and you have a wonderful day Thank you.